Welcome back, everyone. You know, it's not often our dogs can go out to eat with us and be able to order off the menu for themselves, too. But Stephanie Mendez is taking us to a dog encouraged patio. I am in the colony today hanging out at the local, which is this cool outdoor patio space with food and drinks. But this one in particular has a spot where your dogs can enjoy an ice cold beer and treats of their choosing just like you. Let's go learn more about Piper's Paporia. Two teachers who decided to venture into the unknown of the doggy world and uh, start something that just we knew that could do great stuff and uh, we knew we wanted to do something fun with our last part of our lives and uh, we worked so well together I think that that just uh, was kind of a kudos thing on top of it so. Well I have to add because Aaron will um, brag on himself. Aaron painted the entire local. He's a muralist on top of being a teacher. And so the owner said, you know, we'd really like to do something for dogs, but I don't have time. And so he came back to work one day and goes, well, what do you think about that? Because I was already making dog food. Yep. And I was giving it to people we worked with and for my own dogs. And so he said, what do you think? I was like, uh, yes. I think that's the great thing about an outdoor environment because it does allow for other people to come out and, and check. And come on, have and bring your dog with them. They yep. don't have to feel like, I gotta leave my dog home. I can't go out and do anything. It's like they can come here and bring their dog, enjoy a meal, have a drink and do the same thing for their dog. Let their mm -hmm. dog have a meal, get a beer, get them a treat, and hang out and socialize just like the rest of us do and have, so, have a good time with it. So we make everything except the CBDs. And so I was buying dog treats, gourmet dog treats for my own dog, and I noticed that they had blueberries, which are very healthy for dogs. But I don't know if that's a treat. So we decided let's make meaty treats, peanut buttery treats, things that are a true treat, but that are also, also healthy. So I like to say we don't don't use any corn, soy, sugar, salt, preservatives, artificial colors, pork, or refined grains. Nothing that I know to be, nothing that's bad for dogs that I know to be bad for dogs. The dog right. beer is a bone broth, which is just as good for dogs as it is for people. We sell it because it's fun. We're in a you know place that serves alcohol to humans. And so people serve it to their dogs as is, and they also use it as a food topper. We sample everything. Before we sell anything, we have samples, because I tell people our treats are inexpensive expensive but I still never want you to even throw away two dollars if you don't have to better to see what they love and if they don't have their dog we give them a sample pack take it home take a picture of what if they don't like anything and I, we won't yep. save that treat I think the first thing I think the best one of our best qualities is Danielle and I are both people person so we like to be out front we don't like to be stuck in that trailer we like to come out we like to meet we like to talk we like to be able to see the dogs first you know face to face we like to be able to see the people and tell them about about what we do. I want people to come. I want everyone to continue to come here for years and years mm -hmm. and know this name. Know that Piper's Paporium is something that, as far as for the health of your dog and for something fun, we will always be here. And I think that's what separates us from a lot of other places because Daniela would get out there and shake hands and we we get to know the owners and we get to know their dogs. And I hate to say it, we probably know the dogs. Names, oh, a lot of times I don't names. know the people. I go, yeah, you know I know, the, I know the dogs, but I, yeah. <laughs> So I think that that's what really separates us from a lot of the other dog places out there. Is, yeah, sure, any place can sell dog treats, but you're not going to find any place like this where you can come here, meet the actual owners who are mm -hmm. working it, who are shaking hands and getting to know you and getting to know your dog and finding out what your dog loves and going that realm as far as creating a, an awesome environment for the dog to hang out and relax in. So we have a beautiful website that you can go to. Uh, you can order treats online with us and if it comes directly to our emails we can pre-package things for you uh, we have Instagram we have Facebook just remember Piper's Paporium and I think you'll be good you'll anywhere in the you'll find us everywhere